In this video, we focus on atomic structure and electro configuration. Here is an atom. An atom is made up of three subatomic particles. Subatomic particles. They are electrons protons and neutrons. Now, protons and neutrons, they are found inside the nucleus. So protons and neutrons are found inside the nucleus. So location for protons and neutrons, they found inside the nucleus. So that's okay. And electrons, they are orbiting about outside the nucleus. So they are found in orbitals. Okay. Now looking at the charge for each of those, each electron have a negatively charged one in value. Protons are positively charged and uh, neutrons have no charge. If we look at the mass, the relative mass, now electrons are very, very small, very tiny, we see as zero. Protons have a mass of one, relative mass, no unit, and the electrons have a relative mass of one. So, we can see from here that the mass number, the mass is really focused on nucleus. So the protons and neutrons added up give you the atomic mass. Atomic mass. And because the protons are positively charged particles, electrons are negatively charged particles. Those two numbers has to equal to each other for this atom overall no charge. For instance, if I have a protons of three, I have a positive charge of three, and the electrons must have three electrons because those will cancel each other out. So for this atom, make sure it is overall no charge. Okay, so atomic mass equals proton number and neutral number at the up, and atomic number will be the proton number. Here is a periodic table. You can see from here that each of these box you have two numbers. The top number tells you the relative atomic mass, and the bottom number tells you the atomic number. Now, relative atomic mass, as we said earlier, is the number of protons and neutrons. When they add it up, they give you the mass number, and atomic number is really just uh, the proton number. So this number tells you the number of protons. For beryllium, for instance, atomic number is four. That means the proton number is four. Now proton are positively charged particles. So if I have four protons, I must have a four plus, don't I? I must have a plus four, that's a charge, because they're positively charged. Electrons, they are negatively charged. So to cancel each other out, I have to have four electrons, because that way, this atom overall no charge. So that's how I work out. So every time I have the atomic number, um, that tells you number of protons, and also tells you number of electrons. 
The mass number, as we say, is the number of protons plus neutrons. Now mass in here is nine. Now proton number is four. So we can see neutron number is five. So really, it's a top number take away the bottom number, give you the neutral number. Okay, so this way you can work out any given um, pro elements for these protons, neutrons, and electrons. Let's do it again. For instance, this one here, boron. Boron, atomic number is five. Atomic number is five. That means proton is five. That also tells you electrons has to be five because the positive five and the negative five, they cancel each other out. Now, the mass number is 11. That means neutral number is 11 take away five that give you six. So that's how you work out any given elements for their protons, neutrons, and electrons. One more, for instance, one more. Um, oxygen, oxygen, see, when the atomic number is 8, that means proton number is 8. That also tells you electron number is 8. So neutron number will be 16 take away 8, that gives you 8. Okay, so that's very simple. So you will be able to work out the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. That's the first thing. Second one is we're looking at how the electrons are arranged outside the nucleus. So that's called electron configuration. Now for GCC level, you only need to know the first 20 elements. So the first 20 starting from hydrogen number one and then followed by helium number two, helium number three, lithium four, and five, so on, until you get to number 20, calcium. So you need to understand and be able to draw the electron configuration of these first 20 elements. Now the rule is that first shell, first shell, this is a first shell, first shell, first shell maximum can hold two electrons, and second shell, maximum can hold eight electrons. Third shell, again, third shell if it's here, third shell, again, is eight electrons maximum. And then the rest four fill in the fourth shell. So we call it two, eight, eight rules. So first shell, maximum, hold two, second, eight, third, eight. All right, let's look at the examples. For instance, now that's the first 20 elements until calcium, that's 20. Say, for instance, if you have got hydrogen, only got one electron. So the first shell, you just hold one, it's there. Helium, you got two pro proton, uh, two electrons, so that's two, two electrons, and lithium, lithium is three, so three electrons. The first shell you hold two, that's maximum two, that's that's full, and then the next one goes to the second shell, and then so on. So beryllium will be two in the first shell and filled up. And then another two goes to the second. Then you have this boron, and you got five, so two. One, two, three, that's all together, it's five. So you can also write this way. So uh, for hydrogen, for instance, you only got one electron, so that's the first shell, you only hold one. Second helium, you have two, so maximum, the, you can hold two. So that's the full electrons in the outer shell. So that's full. Full. Okay, the lithium will be two, that's for the first shell. Second, you only have one electrons. 
And first, next one is 2, 2. Now, next one is 2, 3. So you can see the carbon, 6 electrons, so 2. And then you have 4 left, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's 2, 4. And the nitrogen, you, sorry, it's 2. And then you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 2 and 5. All together, 7. Right, so that's two, you can see two, six, and the first ring two, second, you can hold seven, because that's two, eight, eight root, maximum you can hold eight. So for the 10 electrons for neon, that will be two, eight. So that's again, the shell is full. Yeah, outer shell electron is full now. Next one, sodium, you got 11. First shell you hold two, Second shell, you hold eight. You got one more left. You fill in the third shell. So that's two in the first shell. Second is two, four, six, eight. The second shell is full. And you got one more. One more goes to the next shell. Yeah, magnesium, same. Magnesium will be two, eight, two. Let's see, first shell, two, second, two four six eight then you have two more goes to the third shell and so on so you can see the train next one will be two eight three two eight four two eight five two eight six two eight seven then four the argon is 18 electrons. Atomic number is 18. So it's 18 electrons. 2, 8, 8. So that is again, is full number of electrons in the outer shell. See, 2, 8, 8, 8. And another 8. So in total will be 18. Now potassium, you got 19 in total so first two second eight two four six eight third shell maximum can also hold eight so you can put another eight in the third shell that makes up 18 but it is 19 so the last electron goes to the fourth shell so that end up two two eight eight one now calcium again two eight eight two okay so that's how the electrons are arranged outside the nucleus in different energy levels so they're all arranged in different energy levels okay so you can see from here this is what they have done for you you see uh, you can write this way or you can write that way and uh, this way is a bit more secure so the first shell maximum you hold two and the rest goes to the second shell second shell maximum can hold eight so you can see that is how the electrons are arranged my name is June I am a qualified teacher of science in England and I am a published author. My book is available on Jingdong and it makes good gift. If you would like to support my work, please subscribe and hit the like button. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day and I see you again soon.